Wow, that was ugly. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, other Joe. Man, the gang's all here this morning, and I'm deaf because of feedback. Well, at any rate, good morning to you. Glad that you are here. Thanks for saying hi, leaving the comments, throwing those thumbs up. Those, All those things matter, and they're encouraging. They make me happy, so keep doing that. Uh, if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, that's awesome as well. Keep doing that. Hey, George, good morning to you, sir. Um, and if you, oh, yep, here we go. Getting the helper in here this morning. Whoo, honey, that head. One of the great things about having grandkids, you get help. You say good morning? Okay. Um. Go see Nan. I'll come see you in just a minute. I love her. All right, so if you're listening on your favorite podcast, catch your head over 7minutesinthemorning.com. Join the conversation. Vicki, good morning to you. Hey, all right, so this morning I'm working off of a quote. I, I told, uh, I titled today's show, Risk the Unusual. I love some of these quotes that, that just kind of roll across the desk from time to time. And this one's from Jim Rohn. If you are not willing to risk the unusual, then you will have to settle for the ordinary. A, a, she's outside on the back porch. Sorry. It's kind of a different way of saying if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you get. But the other thing that I want to point out is... This idea about risk and how we need to be risk averse. And it, I, I, I had a, a, I was working for this company one time and I had a boss tell me he was very risk averse. And I just, you know, kind of, well, you're not ever getting anywhere then. And I was like, uh, oh, that might not have been the best thing to say. That's probably why I don't make the best employee. But the point is, right, risk. Risk is a perception, right? I was telling the story yesterday about my nephew-in-law, I think, who jumps out of airplanes. He knows there's a risk. There's a risk that something will be wrong with the parachute. There's a risk that the plane will crash. But his experience tells him that it's okay. And, and in a lot of ways, this is the same way. If you do it once or twice, then... The, the fear and trepidation that you feel about trying it again, not so much. And the more you do it, the more confident you become. So when we see, and, and as entrepreneurs, as business owners, we're not necessarily um, risk junkies. I, I've done a whole series of shows about being a risk junkie. And it, it's not that we love risk when we throw headlong into it. And in fact, it's exactly the opposite. We are aware of it and we have worked to mitigate it, right? I mean, that's all. We're not saying that there's no risk involved here. We're saying just like, you know, my nephew, yeah, there's some risks. I've done all that I can do to mitigate it, and I'm still willing to proceed. That's what we have to do, right? Not close a blind eye to it, not pretend like it doesn't exist, not saying, I'm better than that, that risk doesn't apply to me, because believe me, trust me, it does, right? You're much better off to say, yes, here are the risks, here's how we mitigate those risks. Now, with that risk mitigation plan in place, is this still a good idea to move forward with? That's all we do. Isn't that right? Are you willing to say good morning now? <laughs> say it. Let's hear it. Good morning. No, from down here, say it loud. <laughs> Good morning. There we go. This is Lindley. So give, leave her a comment down here. Say good morning to Lindley so she can see that roll up as well. All right, so here's the point. If you see something that is challenging, if you see something that frightens you, that you think is risky, don't avoid it. Go headlong into it. Make a list. Here are the risks. Here's how we can mitigate those risks. And then make a decision. Because if you're making a decision just saying, I think there's a big 
scary bear over in the corner, but I'm not going to pay attention to him so he won't eat me. Guess what's for lunch? You know what would be for lunch? You! <coughs> A big bear would come and eat you, all right? Don't ignore it. Name it. Mitigate it. And then make a decision from a position of knowledge and understanding, not from a position of fear. Hang on one second. All right? That's it. All done today. What are you afraid of? What risks do you see? Go out and identify those risks. Come up with a mitigation plan. Hey, Miss Vicky said good morning to you. And get things done. Coffee Shop Show is today at 9 o'clock. Be sure and tune in for that. Coffee Shop, the coffee shop show .com. Get to the right place. Love, love, love to have you there. And uh, either in real life or virtually, we love a live cafe audience. All right. And if you can't catch that, be back here again tomorrow with another new installment <laughs> of 7 Minutes in the Morning. We might, might even have a helper with some scary bedhead. Come in and join me. You guys have a great Wednesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow. I would name the bear Banana Head. Banana Head. <laughs> Don't eat me, Banana Head Bear. Go. And I myself would name him Goodbye. <laughs>